Today we are going to connect the Google Pixel 10 Pro to any display and for that we are going to use this USB Type-C hub which will allow us besides connecting to a display also to connect peripherals to our mobile phone like a keyboard, mouse and gamepad so that we can use it like a PC and with Google's power we can even generate AI videos which is awesome. I'll be using this Philips 5K and in this particular case I wouldn't need a USB Type-C hub or even a KVM switch but we will talk about that in another video but for most displays we don't have that luxury so if you want to take advantage of your display it doesn't matter if it's new or older and you don't have a KVM or up integrated this might be a really simple solution in those cases and if you don't want to connect your Google Pixel 10 Pro you want to connect your MacBook Pro or Windows computer instead then no problem at all because we can use it the traditional way now it's called the new Q USB Type-C Hub 8-in-1. It has two USB Type-A ports, one SD card slot, one HDMI output and four USB Type-C ports, one of which supports charging up to 100 watts. So if we have a laptop or phone connected, we are good to go because it can charge up to 100 watts, which is a lot. Then it has a USB Type-C cable so that we can connect either to a laptop or to any phone. And that's it. In this setup, I did connect the Google Pixel 10 Pro, plugged in a keyboard and mouse, and then connected the HDMI cable to the Philips 5K. And there we go. With the phone, I can practically do everything that I do on a laptop. In this particular case, better than most laptops that we find on a budget without having to carry a PC backpack back and forth. So for productivity tasks like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, it's more than enough even for multimedia. And if I want to use Google Gemini AI to create videos for my own photos, I can do that with great results. And Google is really pushing the limits in this technology. I'm sure that you have seen plenty of videos using Google Gemini and it's awesome. And if we want to use it in a more traditional setup, we can connect it to a laptop like my MacBook Pro. Then I will have access to both the laptop display and also the external display. And we can do the same with any Windows laptop having dual screens to handle more tasks, which is really cool. Now for external storage, it supports up to 10 gigabit per second. Actually, I did achieve a bit more on my testings around 1,500 megabytes per second on writes and 800 and something megabytes per second on reads, which is great for file transfers. If you are using your setup for video editing or photo editing and you are worried about the speeds that you will get, 10 gigabit is great for big file transfers. And these are only three examples of the multiple situations where we can use this USB Type-C up to improve and expand our setup, whether with a phone or with a laptop, but at a affordable price in a really simple way where I just need to plug in this cable and then all the peripherals right over here, that is it. Once I'm finished, just unplug it, go away. Once I get back, just plug it back in, either the phone or the laptop, and there we go. Now this Philips right over here is a display that I'm testing out and it doesn't require any KVM or hub, but this is a luxury because most of the displays that we have do not have any kind of USB Type-C hub or even a KVM. And in those cases, this is a great addition. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.